we're here with the Vernon Hills Queens, who are now Lake County Queens on top of it because that's how good they are. Uh, we're with Kirtu, Savannah, and Haley to learn more about them, learn about what you've been doing so far as ambassadors to our village and now Lake County, and then find out how to get involved in the pageant. And, and you guys are a great commercial for that because you guys are, you've had a great time so far. I'm so glad. So let's start by introducing ourselves. If you could help by um, just telling everybody a little about yourself, your name or where you go to school or what you're interested in, and your title because it's a pretty fancy title. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Kirtu Gumuluru and I'm your junior Miss Lake County from Vernon Hills. I attend Stevenson High School and I'm a freshman. In my free time, I enjoy doing Taekwondo and Hip Hop. Wonderful. Savannah, what can you tell us? Hi, I'm Savannah Goodman, Little Miss Vernon Hills. I go to Aspen Elementary, my teacher is Miss Urban, and I enjoy doing dance, gymnastics, gymnastics and tumbling. Wonderful. Hi, my name is Haley Kalinowski, and I'm your Miss Vernon Hills, of, or Miss Lake County of Vernon mm -hmm. Hills. Um, I'm a junior at Vernon Hills High School. I've been doing pageants for about 10 years, and I also do softball and theater. Well, let's talk about this. We've got you, Savannah, you were second runner up at Lake County, mm -hmm. huge. And then you two, you, you explained your crowns. You are not only our Queens, you are the Lake County Queen, so you represent the whole county in your ambassadorship. Can you talk a little bit about the Lake County Pageant? Yeah, the Lake County Pageant is a really great opportunity for people from all around Lake County to come together and meet each other and have a really great time. And then we also compete with all the other queens from across the towns that we've spent time with over the year mm -hmm. and gotten to know. And then me and Kirtu won the Lake County titles, so we'll extend our reign for another year and be able to go to a bunch more events. But we're still Vernon Hills Queens too, so <laughs> we'll still be around here until our pageant comes. Well, let's talk about the things you guys get to do. Um, because this isn't like, a, it is glitzy and glamorous. These crowns are quite sparkly and wonderful. <laughs> and you do get to go to a lot of things and meet a lot of people, as you said, but it is really about service. And, and making a difference in the world and being um, good partners with other queens to do their work as well. And so there's a lot of special events and a lot of things you've gotten to do so far with more to come. Savannah, we were talking before we started, what is one of the things that just sticks out as a memory for you that you really enjoyed so far? I know there's more stuff coming, so. One of my favorite memories that I've had as Little Miss Vernon Hills with my sister queens was the 4th of July parade. It was when we were all just crowned Vernon Hills queens, and it was so much fun throwing candy and dancing in the back of the pickup truck. Well, and I understand. You get to meet all these other people, too, right away. So you not only know the kids from the pageant you were just in, you got to meet all your other yes. people from all over in Lake County. So. Yeah. Wow, that's a wonderful memory. Now, now uh, the the as you get up in the ranks, I guess pe people have a tendency to have you have platforms, you have things that really motivate you. Kirtu, can you talk to us about what kind of motivated you to do this and what you've been working to really um, educate us all on? Right. So my platform is called Willing Hands for Kids. It started way back in 2020 when, you know, there was a lockdown after COVID. So me and my friends, we took like a virtual summer camp. Later, I realized how much I love working with kids and developed my platform. This year, as Junior Miss Vernon Hills, I've also hosted like my own event for Valentine's Day where we made Valentine's Day goodies, including coloring books, socks, many more goodies. And um, they were sent to fill a heart for kids for foster kids. Oh, so that's that's an area thing for foster kids. So that's right. your, okay. Yeah. Now tell me this. So this is your platform now. And as you go a year for, for, for Lake County, is that something that's in your heart that you're going to continue as you go yes, forward? Yes, I would think? love to continue hosting events because I know when I hosted my event this past year, um, I gathered town queens from all over Lake County and it was such a fun time because we were making such an impact, but at the same time we were bonding with each other, which I think was so memorable. Well, I was going to say, and sometimes nowadays, especially coming off lockdown, having connections that are meaningful is tough. It can be tough. Yeah. Well, Haley, you have a 
and you have an ex you have a, a long history in pageants mm -hmm. too so yes. you came into this with a, a drive for what you wanted to accomplish can you talk about your uh, platform too yeah well i first started pageants when i was about six years old so it was a long time ago <laughs> back in 2012. Um, i just saw the queens around town i thought they were really pretty really cool and i wanted to be them um, but my view of pageants has really grown as i've grown through this system and now I see the service that the girls do throughout their year. And I created my platform in 2018. It's called Kindness is Contagious. And it's centered around this idea of sending out cards to people in your life. And then each person that received a card was given the task to send out three more cards, which created this ripple effect. And then I also hosted an event where we made cards. And then we also made crafts for residents in a local memory care home. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's what I mean. This is not, this is sparkly and beautiful. You're beautiful inside and out. But this is about service, and I think you've, yes. you've all said it so well. It's about taking care of your community, being good partners, doing all these things. So let's take the next step and talk about, you've been in pageants before. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, Kirtu, you said that was your first, this was your first thing to even try, and you had to just be like, okay, I can do this. So, so let's talk about the whole spectrum of, you enjoyed it enough, you kept going, we'll talk to you about your experience, you enjoyed it, but how do you jump into something, especially if you're at home going, I don't know, I've never worn a crown, I don't have a fancy dress, I don't know how to do this, but you just figured it out. Can you can you speak to people who might be nervous about that? Of course, so it actually was during like a July 4th fire race and I saw Vernon Hills Queens and everyone were taking pictures with them and I was like, oh my gosh, I want a picture too. So I go up to them and they're so kind, so beautiful and I told my friends that I said, I want to be just like them one day. And I have learned so much throughout doing this pageant. I've learned public speaking, interview skills, because these are the skills that you're going to use during your lifetime. So it was really worthy. And that's interesting. So you just saw it and you're like, one day. One right. day came pretty quick, though, it I would did. say. <laughs> one day it was did. pretty fast. So, well, Savannah, you had an experience yeah. like that. You said it was fun. So you yeah. just, I'm going to try it again. So. Yeah. So the first year that I tried being a Vernon Hills Queen, I got first runner-up, and I had so much fun doing it and meeting all the other girls that I went again back next year, and I won my title. <laughs> well, and so I was going to say, it must have been fun. Yeah. So it isn't, and it isn't all about, like, you think about sports, it's competition. you got to be the winner. It's, it's a little different for this. Yeah. There is a there is one crown that comes out, mm -hmm. but you all do take care of each other. And yeah. I, are you still friends with some of those people? I Actually, think? yes. One of the girls that competed in a pageant, that competed in one of the pageants, goes to my school and we hang out every day. I was going to say, it's like you said, the bonding and the connections. And let's go back to, Haley, you've done this before yes. and you know how um, all those skills come together and you've heard the older girls because you've done this before you've heard the older girls say once you get to college this is like wonderful because you have so many presentations and so much scheduling can you give a little commercial if you were to encourage somebody to give this a try yeah, I definitely came into pageants with no experience at all. I was six years old and going on stage and giving a speech and also doing an interview is kind of a daunting task, but you really learn how to do it as you go on. And this really is just a family. We all come together. My mom was a first time pageant mom when she came into it, but now she's the director of the Vernon Hills pageant. So you really just pick it up from others and learn as you go along. Well, and I was going to say, if people like your mom or you or you or you, you're there to help coach people. You don't have to know. You don't have to be like, okay, kid, get up there and do your thing. Yeah. Everybody prepares you because, again, it's not a competition to um, put anybody down. It's to lift everybody up. So everybody's there, including you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if somebody sees you out and about, these are the people to talk to about being a Vernon Hills uh, pageant yeah. person because look how happy they are and look how <laughs> successful they are thank you so much for all the things you've done for vernon hills and now for lake county and congratulations on everything and um and we look forward to seeing you again as the time goes on so thanks for taking the time today thank, thank you, you. Now let's get down to the nuts and bolts of the pageant. We're with uh, Karen Kalinowski. 
you've been doing this with your daughter, but now you're the volunteer director of this whole shebang, and you're here to help everybody know how to do it. And I know there's a lot of information on your website, but can we start with, first of all, you need to apply. That's the first step. Absolutely, and applying is online, very easy, it's free. Um, we've got three age categories. We've got a Little Miss, which is ages six through 10. Junior is 11 through 15, and Miss is 16 to 21. Now, if you've done this before, those ages are slightly adjusted. You all got together with the Lake County pageant, adjusted it a little to make a little more sense. Probably. We did, yes, yes, yes. Very good, so if you've done this before, look at those ages to make sure you're doing the right app for the right thing, and those apps are due they are due on May 12th at 5 p.m. Um, online, like I said, a free application. Doesn't cost you anything to join. We'd love to have everybody in Vernon Hills come join us. Well, and there should be no barrier. The girls talked about there's so many people that have shoes or dresses of all different sizes or whatever you need. Don't let, you know, the wardrobe be a stop. Absolutely not. If you don't have the outfits, please reach out to us via um, our website, Facebook page. We'd be more than happy to source. There are so many queens throughout Lake County that are willing to share a dress, sell a dress. We will, we will get you dressed, so please don't let that be a deterrent from applying to the pageant. Well, and that's the other thing, too. You're there to answer questions. Go on the, the, the VernonHillsPageant.com. You can connect, and people, moms can ask you questions, kids can ask ask you questions they can look at the video they can talk to the girls they can get the whole the whole story about what the pageant's about and what you need to do and as the girl said you're there to help teach people what it is so nobody goes in it isn't like trial by fire it's the opposite of that no we want the girls to have fun that yeah. that's what this is all about is it's a fun experience the day of the pageant is a great great day the girls are all encouraging to each other um, it's 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 just a fun fun way to be part of uh, Vernon Hills one thing to note you do need to live in Vernon Hills I've had that question and asked me a couple years, a couple times actually this year, you have to be a resident of Vernon Hills with a uh, zip code of 60061. Um, so just make sure you note that um, on the application. And when it comes to this whole pageant, I know it, between you and, and your co-director Kelly and, and all the volunteers, there's people that come back and volunteer, there's businesses that reach out and lend a hand and give donations. You've got a whole team that stands behind this. We do. I mean, first and foremost, Ver Vernon Hills Village, they're our biggest supporter. Um, we've got Graber Orthodontics this year, once again, supporting the sweetest smile. So each, uh, each category, a uh, one girl wins a hundred dollar scholarship from, um, Graber Orthodontics. So that's, that, that's yeah. great. I mean, it is, it's, it's a, it's a great thing for girls. It's they, it teaches them interview skills. These girls go and sit at an interview, um, before the pageant, which you don't see live that day. They go one-on-one -on -one with a judge. Um, and then the pageant day, we've got a, a speech that the girls prepare and memorized. And then we also have a pop question. So they, they really just want to get to know the girls and, you know, see their personality. That's what this is all about. Yeah, and as you said, you prepare everybody and you've got that team. If somebody wants to be part of your team. So we know how to apply. You have to go online by May 12th, yep. get that application in. doesn't cost anything to apply. You've got all these people behind you. If somebody wanted to help out, they can also reach out through the the vernonhillspageant.com and say, hey, I want to help. You got it. Absolutely. We're always looking for volunteers. Many of our past queens will come back and volunteer the day of the pageant, which is great. I've sourced my whole family, <laughs> old queen families. Everybody is out there helping us uh, run the pageant smoothly. So it is it is a fun day and it's it's a great way to be part of Vernon. Well, let's, re let's remind everybody the pageant is June 10th. June 10th, one o'clock at the Sullivan Center. Uh, it's free for everyone. Please come join us. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for doing the work you do. And everybody, think about it. Think about it. If you think you might want to try it, why not give it a try this year, right? Absolutely. Why not? Why Looks not? great on a college application, too. Oh, Just saying. It certainly does. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Good idea. So remember, sign up by May 12th, pageant June 10th. And thanks for all you guys do. Thank thanks. you.